Hey guys, Jeremy with Heart Fuel Automation here. Uh, today I wanted to take a little time and do an initial setup and demo with some simple motion tasking of the Yamaha Robotics Trans Servo Linear Slide Integrated um, Stepper Slide Servo and their TSS2 Drive. Um, so the first thing, let me go over, I've got a 5 amp 24 volt power supply here <clears throat> and uh, the Yamaha KCA uh, communication cable. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, wire up your power. Uh, you will need to jumper your ES2 to your ES negative. <clears throat> you'll apply 24 volts to the rest of the system except for 0V and then you'll run your comment back to your power supply. <clears throat> The communication cable plugs in up top. Uh, little tip, arrow to arrow, makes it real quick. And then you will plug that into your USB port. <clears throat> and it will automatically um, install the drivers onto your computer. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't already, you're going to need to download the TS Manager software from Yamaha in order to communicate with the drive. So you can see here, I've already got it downloaded on my computer. We're going to open that up. <clears throat> from here, we're just going to click Launch TS Manager. We're going to create a new connection. And you can see it went out. Looked at my COM ports. I'm attached to COM port 9. We're going to select OK and connect to the controller. <clears throat> As it's out searching for the controller, it goes out, it obtains the data from the controller, and it brings it into the system. <clears throat> it downloads. And you can see here, I've already pre-populated some moves inside of the drive for us to review. <clears throat> One thing that we are going to want to do first is select operate panel this is going to bring up another little dialog box that we're going to move over here and from here we can initialize the servo and turn the servo motor on <clears throat> uh, if there was a break we could initialize the break um, and we can also start our homing routine so <clears throat> let's let's turn our server on now you probably couldn't hear that but you could hear the motor engage and we're going to start our homing routine. <clears throat> the homing routine is set to back up to the block and then give a, a slight offset, which you can see right there. So our origin search has now been completed. <clears throat> and from here, we'll just run a quick little routine. Um, in our point table, you can see I've created three points here. These are all absolute moves. And as I trigger point one, it's going to jump to point two, from point two, jump to point three, and after point three is completed, it's going to jump back to point one. So it's just going to stay in this constant little loop here. So let's go ahead and highlight that line and start that, that move. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and stop that. And now we'll run into this little loop that I've got here starting at P5 and pretty much the same thing. You can see <clears throat> I'm going to go from P5, I'm going to jump to P6, down through P7, 8, 9, and then return to 5. So just another little loop demonstrating just simple point command motion tasking. So let's go ahead and start that move. Okay. <clears throat> so another little neat feature um, that you can do is manually teach a position um, to the actuator in drive uh, without necessarily knowing what your coordinate is going to be. So <clears throat> here I've highlighted point P13. I'm going to stop my servo motor so I can release its hold torque and I'm going to move 
the, the actuator into position. One thing I'd like to highlight here is watch the current position change on my dashboard. Okay, so there I'm going to teach this position. I'm going to put this position into P13, and there it's giving me all the parameters that uh, that I want. Now I can make changes to these after I've made it, but the one thing you should notice is now that it is highlighted pink. Pink lets you know that this move has not been downloaded back to the drive. So we're going to click right. We're going to write that move to the drive. Okay, the writing has been completed. Let's just go ahead and move this back here for the sake of it. <clears throat> we're going to turn our servo back on. We're going to highlight move P13 and we're going to start it. And you can see, well, it was a little too fast to threw our, our object off of the carriage, but you can see it moved it right back. So, anyway, quick little demo video just showing you the initial setup and, uh, and some motion tasking inside of just the basic point table. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment below. Ask any questions that you, that you feel are necessary. And uh, we'll, we'll keep posting more and, and get back to you guys later. Thanks so much.